Guys, welcome to another conversation about the five love languages, which is a old book, but don't feel old if, because we don't feel like we're old, but whatever. Uh, it, we read it in the 2010s, and this is a book written in the 90s. Great book about communication, especially regarding, uh, you know, marriage couples, and that's the one that we had read, even though there's a lot of varieties of those. But uh, the one here that we were talking about is the five love languages, improving communication between your spouses. And we are on number three. And the one, no, we're on number three. We've talked about words of affirmation. Oh, yes, I'm sorry. Quality time. We've talked about words of affirmation, quality time. And the one we're going to talk about today is receiving gifts. All right, that is a love language. Another one that people consider, or this, the author Chapman considers as a love language, a way of expressing and communicating love, receiving gifts. Let me read a short description. Tangible and intangible items that make you feel appreciated or noticed. Going to your uh, partner's concert, for example, uh, giving a gift of flowers, you know, wine, different things like that. Uh, to the individual who favors this love language, the absence of everyday gestures or missed special occasions are particularly Hurtful. So gift giving, all right, so here we go. Remember all the love languages that the author describes, he says these are ways that we communicate love, but it is also a way that if we're, you know, if it's not communicated, it could be uh, damaging or it could be a way of feeling rejection. All right, gift giving. How do you feel about this gift one? How do you feel about this one when we came across it? It's the lowest of my love languages. It's number five. Out of the five, it is number five. It's Look, I'm, I'm not grateful because it saves me a lot of money. Because you don't need all the you gifts. You are grateful because it's I am grateful, but at the same time, it's okay. Like, I you know, I'm just, okay, quarter, move on. Um, and I'm simple when get with gift, gift, gift giving. I don't need anything extravagant. I'm great with candles, perfume, anything that smells good and, or looks good in my house. Yep. I'm, I'm solid. Yeah, you, can't I'm, I'm, you can't go wrong with that. Um, but for me, gift giving, um, I'm, I'm also really bad at gift giving. I do not, when it comes to gift giving, I'm like, I don't know what to get this. I'd rather go to your house and like clean for you or something. Like, I don't know. I'm not a great gift giver. Um, so again, that's probably why it's like literally the last thing on my, on the, out of the five, it's still, it's the lowest for me. Um, I, I think gifts are great, you know, but I would rather just, I would actually say, okay, for my birthday, I'd rather spend time with you and let's, let's do something together, then you come and bring me a gift, honestly. Yeah. So. Yeah, and, and I vouch for that, you know, and again, it's, and but that, that makes it really hard for me to buy you gifts. Even though it's like, I know I'm easy, it's just, you know, candles and perfume. But at the same time, it's like, I don't want to look like a bum. It was like constantly, there's another candle. You know, <laughs> like, happy I know, but it just feels weird. I don't know. So it's really hard to, when it comes to Mother's Day and Christmas gifts, like birthdays, like I can't think, okay, which I'm going to, well, uh, I'm going to, share with what we've been doing later in the next video. Uh, so that's really hard. So I have to try to come up with an, a gift that really reinforces your love language, which is the one we're gonna leave on for another video. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of weird. That's kind of weird on that. But uh, I'm, I'm, it's, I'm okay. Like I'm not that big of a deal. I feel like it's not number three or four. It, but no, this one's like number three though. It is higher on my end. Like I don't mind giving myself a gift every once in a while. Like, you know, Amazon shopping or something like that. I like to spend. I'm the spender out of the two of us. I like to spend. Uh, and so I'm the one that tends to spend a lot of like a lot, but like small. But when you spend, it's usually, you know, like boom. I'm like, oh my I'll gosh. I'll spend something maybe once every two years, but it's a big purchase. All right, not two years, but still, all right, I'll give it to you. And so I'll okay, give it to you. I'll give it to you. So, but yeah, gift giving is is I like gift giving. Like, all right, for me because I my primary, which we talked about, if you missed it. Video. My primary love language is quality time, so I really like gifts. I express quality time in my gifts. So to me, I might give you a gift of this is me. Like, hey, let's go. Like, hey, let's go do something. Like, I, I that's more of a gift for me. Um, and if anybody recommends a gift for me, like, hey, if it's a gift of doing something, like, go, let's go hang out. Let's go do this. Let's go do that. That's a gift that I love. That's a gift that really. Again, it's reinforced, it's interpreted as my primary love language, even though it's a gift. Right. Um, and so, but you know, I, I don't mind, you know, a little, and, and especially intentional gifts. Like if it's one that I can tell you thought about it, like this is a gift that you put thought in, I perceive that as, I perceive that as quality time. Because you took time, why are you laughing? It's like, you know, because you, you took time to think about how would no. I react and respond. Yeah, exactly, and I'm, I'm thinking about the gift that I gave you with the jersey, yep. because that one, was probably the best in thir almost 13 years of marriage was probably the best gift I've ever given him. And I knew 
it was gonna be yep. so good that I couldn't even wait to his birthday to give it to him because I was like, I hit, I know I hit it out the park with this one. She I did. know I did. And I should have had it too. It was a, she got me a, a custom Miami Dolphins jersey with my high school number, which was a number that I had when we were dating in high school, with my name on the back. And she was so excited to give the gift that it came in the mail and she didn't want to wrap it. It was just in the FedEx thing. And she was like, oh, here, hey, I got you. your gift came in the mail, but I want you to open it right now. I remember we were in the backyard. And we were like, all right. And I go to walk to get it. And as she goes to extend it, she brings it back, rips it open, flips it on me. And she like puts the last name in front of me. Like, like she was so excited. She had to open it. And I, I haven't was, been able to top that since then. That was a I few know. years ago. No, but I already gave you one idea though. Oh, wait, oh, classic. Classic. Oh, no. Anyways, so uh, but anyways, see that was that. See that's that that was a cool thing. But uh, I thought this was the gift giving one was an interesting one, especially the one you said because I want you guys to see now that when you're starting to see all the different love languages, look how they kind of like you can you can express and interpret your primary in a different one. Again, like for me, a gift of somebody gives me a gift of quality time, or I can tell you took time to this, okay, I would appreciate this, or this is this is who I am. Like, again, that's interesting how you can kind of interpret that. Um, you know, words of affirmation, not so much, uh, like I don't see how quality time with, unless it's like a thank you, like I, I, it's a really focused statement yeah. regarding that. Um, like you were, you were paying attention to what I was doing, so I can receive words of affirmation if you were paying attention, reinforce it, so that's, that's interesting as well. Um, but yeah, so that was this one, the, uh, the verse, or the, uh, love language of quality time, but then the, the negative, I'm sorry, the gift giving, but then the negative is hurts. Like if you were a gift giving person and somebody drops a ball on that gift, it could hurt. Yeah. It hurts, right? It makes like, you feel like they don't love you that much. Yeah, like, and, and, and maybe they do. Yeah. Maybe they do, but if you're a gift giving person and that person doesn't come through. And if you're like me and not a great gift giver, like if that person's not a great gift, or, gift, gift <laughs> giver yeah. like myself, then, you know, it's kind of rough. Yeah, and so so that's something to think about, guys. That's something to think about, and also you know just to see how do you process, how do you react to that. I think it'll be a we've learned a little bit about ourselves. Hopefully, you learned something as well. And hey, if you are a gift giver, let me tell you, there is a God who loves to give gifts. In fact, John three sixteen says, "For God so loved the world, He gave." the gift of his son Jesus so that all who believe in him will have eternal life. And in Jesus, we have the gift of grace and love and peace and strength. We, he, we even have the gift of the Holy Spirit. And so I'm a bunch of Holy Spirit, you know, fruit, gifts and all that stuff that comes with it too. So if you're a gift giver, man, you have a God in Jesus who loves to give gifts and he's there. He speaks our love language very, very well. So guys, I, I want to encourage you to, I think we got one more video left, right? Are we on number four? Have we done so four? Five? Apparently we were on number three. Oh, so, so we got a we few got, more. We got two more. All right, so join us back as we talk about love language number 